what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ariel. we're gonna get straight into this video i'm using the erica stuttered erica j hold me down adhesive to apply my sensational butter lace unit number seven okay i got this from amazon the link will be down below the color on the stock car is not the same color that's listed on amazon for some reason it's mp blonde on amazon so if you do decide to order from there pay attention to that as for construction, we've seen it. It's nothing different. We have our combs, our clips, where they always are. It's, this is a HD lace wig, which we have ear-to-ear -ear HD lace as well as lace in the part. The part is a side part. You, I don't think you could put it in the middle just because of how the lace is. No, actually, I don't think. I know you cannot put this in the middle. So, yes, yeah, she's a side part. The color is beautiful. I've said before that I don't do much color synthetic wigs because I just, it's hard for me to find when I really like, but y'all, this is it. I think I've only had like one or two other ones that I really, really like the color. This hair was just, this hair transformed me. Okay, so when you look at it, it's beautiful. It has just the right amount of blonde. The blonde is actually the best blonde I've ever seen mixed into brown. Like, it's not harsh. There's blonde going throughout the top. Like, there's so, ugh, y'all, I can't even, like, just looking at it again, I just can't even put into words how well the blonde is blended and it's super seamless. Now, there is a big issue with this wig that I did not like and you're about to actually see it. For some reason, the wig kind of, it goes behind my hair, my uh, my ears. The hairline goes behind my ears, so I can't pull it down properly to get nice coverage on my sides, on my natural sideburn area. So all in all, it's just like the wig is just too tight. It's too small in the sense that it's cut wrong. Like it was just sewn on wrong that's all that's the only way i could think to say it so what i did is cut some slits in the lace and when i did that it was so much relief because it was tight on my head my braids underneath are really really old so i have a lot of new growth my braids are really puffy the part is sitting the back of the part is right on top of one of my braids so it did it wasn't as flat as i wanted but it was literally nothing i could do like it was nothing I could do because I could not move this wig anymore and yeah I just I had to make it work so I'm gonna show you exactly what I did I probably spent an hour literally an hour straight working with it adjusting it trying to like you know move it in different ways so that it could fit my head there was nothing I could do and I had to accept the fact I'm taking some um got to be spray and I am spraying it on my comb and just moving the hairs out of the way that are you know hanging out so that when I do put the glue on to apply the wig there's not a whole bunch catching into the glue So I was supposed to be doing like a review, like not a voiceover, just actually tell you about this wig. But y'all, I put this wig on and I got beside myself. I just felt so cute. So that's why I'm doing a voiceover, but I'm still going to tell you the pros and the cons. And the main con, honestly, it just does not fit my head that well. I have a 22 inch head, um, 22 inch circumference, and it's just too tight. It's not sitting how I want. I want my edges to be covered completely and there's just no way that that could happen because the hairline is kind of rounded off um, back towards the ear and nobody's hairline is like that. So again, this is the Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive. And I'm just applying it. Now, I had a wig on previously before this one. And when I took it off, my wig cap wasn't too messed up. So I'm just going to make it work. 
I do put this on my skin. Um, I really do love this glue, honestly. I just would not recommend anybody to put it on their skin because you never know how your skin would react. I would say do a patch test first. For me, I've used this so many times, so I know how it works for my skin. I am putting it on a little bit on the wig cap. I'm not really putting it on my hair. The only place I am is in the middle by my widow's peak because I always cut my widow's peak off anyway, so I don't really care if any glue pulls at it. So it's pretty simple what you know I do next. I put my lace down into the glue. I did not put any glue on the side because on the side where the wig wouldn't come down because I knew it wouldn't um I knew it wouldn't work, so I decided to wait on that, but I'm just placing the rest of the lace down into the glue, making sure it's fitting right. And you can see by my eyes like it is pulling it is pulling like it was very very tight I went back added a little more glue to the side and I really wish I didn't do that cuz it didn't do nothing for me but I'm still gonna show you just in case maybe maybe your head will work for this honestly I don't really see how this could work for anybody they just need to get that together because it's a great wig but this is a major flaw that I don't think anybody wants to walk around knowing that one side of their wig is not secure. And again, I tried so many times to like fix it. Like I was just struggling, trying to do everything to make this little piece stay and nothing really worked. Um, so I went ahead and tied down my scarf. I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but I don't have any makeup on the top of my forehead. And I wasn't done with my makeup in case I look a little bit crazy. Um, it is going to get better. It's going to get better. So don't judge me. But after I let that sit for a little bit, I went ahead and cut off my lace. Now, I didn't do zigzags or anything because this wig was just way too tight. And I was kind of getting over it because I felt like I spent so much time on a process that usually takes me like 20 minutes. So I want to get a little bit closer so you can see, like, just see exactly what I got going on. I went back with my rat tail comb and some more of the glue just to, you know, make sure every little piece was laying down properly. And I also used the comb, the rat tail of the comb to press the glue down so that it's really flat. Honestly, I didn't put no makeup on this. Uh, I didn't have anything on my forehead at all. I, I wiped it clean with alcohol before I put the wig on. And I think that that color is really nice. Like the HD on this wig, like they really did a good job with that. Now if only they could cut it right so that I can get my little baby here. Like I would be, this would be, this would be perfect. I tied up the back of my hair. I put on my elastic band. Look at my, look at that, look at that. Ugh. I tied it up, tied it down. I let it sit, finished the rest of my makeup, and then I came back. And the lace looks really good, you guys. And yes, there are baby hair in case you wanna, you know, do a little bit. But since this was like, the color, I was just so in love with the color, the deep part. I didn't wanna do baby hair. And like I said, I spent so much time trying to make the wig fit. I just decided to do, you know, no baby hair, keep it how it is. I do wish I didn't ball that hair up like that to put on my scarf because I did have to go through it quite a few times to detangle it. I'm just so used to doing that with my virgin hair, so that's the only reason why I did it. But I brushed through this hair. Now, I have to say, it is a little bit, it definitely tangled up. You will have to take a brush with you 
Especially if you're like me and you want to keep running your fingers through it, which I usually do not do with synthetic wigs, but I could not keep my fingers out this hair. So yeah, you do want to take a brush with you. Shedding, it did shed. I did not like that it shed, but I like the color. So I was dealing with the shedding. The tangling really wasn't excessive. The only thing for me that messed me up was when I did put it up in the clips. And to hide my sides, I decided just to let do a little part. Um, again, there's no lace here. There's only lace in the middle and around the hairline. But I decided just to like roughly part it off, put a bobby pin to hold the hair back. And the piece that's down is kind of covering my side. That's the best I could do. And I didn't want to leave it down all the way because I want my little bit of blonde to be popping out, you know? Now, there were no exact lengths on this wig. I would say it's like a 24. Um, very modest. Not too long, not too much. I wish it was a little bit fuller, but I always wish it was a little bit fuller because I don't like when I can see that space at the back of my, like sometimes you'll see it when I'm moving, you can see straight to the back, um, the backdrop. I went ahead and cut a little bit of layer in the front just cause it felt a little flat. And I would have did the same thing on the other side, but since my edges wasn't, you know, the way I wanted it, I just left it. And that little bit of, you know, that just, that just, that's just cute. Like it's just a little bit more volume, definitely optional. I really do love this wig. It would be a 20 on a scale of 10 if they could get the, the edges right. I don't like that. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And the color is amazing. I did get it from Amazon. The link will be down below. Again, Butter Lace Unit number 7. The color I have is MP Blonde on Amazon. But the exact color on the stock card, I'm going to put that on the screen. I'm going to put it in the description as well. So I put some Got To Be Spray and some concealer in my part just to... You know, you know what that does. It makes it look more realistic. And the got to be is just so that my hair can have like some volume in the front. Since I do have that puffy kind of part, I didn't want it to be super flat. And then my part is high up in the sky. So I'm working with what I got you guys. And then I went ahead and, you know, contoured my forehead just a little bit. Well, not contour, but bronze it up a little because I like to look very warm, very golden. And that is how the hair looks. This is the shedding I dealt with. I dealt with more than that. That's just what I showed you. Again, this is the length. It's about 24. I really do like the length. It's not too much. And overall, again, this hair is a 7 out of 10. If they fixed the baby hair area and made it a bit bigger for big heads like me, she would definitely be a 20 out of 10. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want this wig. The link will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.